All right, next I'd like to talk about the tools that you need to finish a bunky job. Now, first thing you want is a measuring tape. That is especially gonna be handy when you get started. So, the old classic measuring tape. Uh, just to get square, get everything measured. I mean, the boards come pre-cut and pre-measured for you, but a measuring tape is nice to get everything square when you first start. So, measuring tape. Secondly, you'll definitely need a hammer. This is just the standard hammer. That'll come in handy if you're going to be uh, nailing anything, but also just for pounding the blocks down. Um, also, um, a bigger sledgehammer, something like this, it's a little bit heavier, is really nice to, to hammer the logs down even more effectively. Another thing you're definitely going to need is a level. The longer, the better. This is my super level that I bring to all my job sites. Super level. It's like taller than me. Well, almost taller than me. And that's great. If you don't have something that big, that's okay. You can get by with something a little more standard like this. And that'll help get your, uh, your foundation all level. So when the monkey arrives, it's ready to go. And there's a whole video I did on the actual foundation. So check that out too. All right. Uh, another thing you're going to want to have is a drill. This is my DeWalt cordless battery powered drill. Have an extra battery if you have one of the, those. And if you decide to screw most of your stuff, um, like for example, the roof bo boards or whatever, then a drill is really nice to have. Um, and some people even screw their roof and their floorboards together and you can use a drill like this as well. If you're more of an advanced user, what I do at my build sites is I actually bring a small compressor and a nail gun such as this. It's just boom, boom, boom. And uh, you can install your floorboards and your deck boards really quickly. It's a fast way to do it. Um, but you know, you can also hammer it with just your classic hammer. It just might take a little longer. If you have lots of labor, that's uh, not, not the end of the world. So, you know, your classic hammer and a few nails will also put the deck boards in so you don't really need the advanced tools. Um, now, one more thing that you can never have enough of is uh, other people to help you. <laughs> For sure, you need at least one buddy. Uh, it's not a one-man job, it's a two-person job. But the other thing you definitely need a lot of, uh, if you could, is these little step ladders. Just to get up here, you know, and get to a bunkie. I'm not actually going to bunkie, I'm in another build site. but. Um, you know, even a small step ladder such as this right here will come in handy. Just three steps, just to get higher, because as the logs get higher, um, you're gonna not be able to reach it and get leverage. So uh, a bunch of ladders like this, or even taller, are, are the best. Ideally, if you can have a ladder on all four corners, if you can have four ladders, you know, knock on some neighbors' doors, meet your neighbors, borrow their ladders, return them. That's a great way uh, to get the Bucky life experience going. So lots of ladders and all those other tools. You might need a saw. Let me just show you a saw. You don't need to cut the boards, but sometimes when you're doing the trim, this is nice to have a small saw, something like that, uh, just to finish off the trim. But that's kind of, um, you know, a very small, you only need this, this guy for like a few cuts. And that's about it. So these are tools you may already have or can borrow from the father-in-law in your life. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to build the bunk in. If you, if you really hustle, you could probably get it up in one or two days if you have enough help and you have enough ladders. You can never have enough ladders. Hope that's helpful. David from Bunky Life, signing off.